Bruce Lee's Jikun Do, the Hulk Punch. Now, in Jikun Do, the strict lead is the most well-known technique that Bruce uses. But the Hulk Punch is also one of the most powerful hand strikes that you could use, one of the weapons that you can use with the right scenario. Okay, so the hook punch is actually different kinds of hook punch in JKD, but today I'm gonna to show you three of them. Now, in the JKD hook punch is a little bit different. If you think of the JKD hook punch, a lot of traditional boxing hook punch is horizontal, which I'm gonna show you today, but then I'm gonna show you the, the normal JKD hook punch, which is vertical. Now, Bruce experiment with different techniques and you can experiment yourself as well but through the vertical he discovered that it's actually more powerful and I discovered the same thing as well and also you can see when you do the vertical punch it's much it's also like a shield now one big difference is with the JKD hook punch it is not coming around like that okay that's in, in boxing you can see they do a lot of this type of like this kind of stuff but JKD is actually taking from the Wing Chun principle the center line is actually just coming from like that. So we don't make a big exaggerated motion just to get more power. Because Bruce is a small guy. So you notice he, when he designed JKD, he, he designs not to get hit. He doesn't want to get hit because he's a 130 somewhat 40 pounds guy. I mean, one guy can knock him out. So he tries to finish the fight early and also always protect the center line. That's from ancient principle. So from here, and I'm using my body, my hip, just turn like that, just like that, okay? So let me demonstrate. So right there, you can see. So not like that, so that's the vertical hook punch. So it's more, see my hip, it's already facing this way. So after I, I fire across, right? From here, I just hook, watch. So from here, from here, from here, from here, you can come back very quickly to do other strikes. Here, boom. Look at my body. Here, boom. So that's the vertical hook punch. And then you have the horizontal hook punch, which is very typical in boxing, you can see. So vertical will hit the jaw. We can also hit the neck. You can also hit here. Also, maybe if even Jason, it's down here like that, let's say you hit right there. Very, very powerful. Horizontal. Very typical boxing. The only difference is the elbow. We don't do it like that. It's like this. You can see the difference. Like so, JKD. Everything is tighter. Everything, everything is tighter. We don't do, we don't swing. It's the hip, boom, 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 boom. Tighter of motion. Okay, so horizontal hook punch. So I make also, I might do something here. I hit the body, right? Right there, right? Or maybe Jason, the punch is here like that, right? Boom, right? So from here, right there. From here, body, body. Good, that's the hook punch. Last one, which is the rear hand hook punch, which we don't use a lot, because JKD, we focus on using a strict lead. Front foot, front hand, right? Lead foot, lead hand. With this punch, just a little bit on that on that side. Uh, focus, man. Focus, yeah. This way. Thank you, just yeah. This one, which is this way. Again, we don't do. It's not swing. Very tight. Very tight. Just like that. So, look. It's not like this, which then is easier to park. It's much tighter. See that? Much tighter much tighter okay. so here see that from here from here one more time so vertical horizontal let me try as you can see is practicing that 
One of the things that you could do, you can stop the motion, like right, let's say this, this, this fist is touching his fist. So imagine you're firing from the, from just finishing off the cross, and boom, you just turn. So stay there, boom, yes. Yes. One of the things that you can make it tighter, imagine you are shooting it almost like a horizontal punch. So I'm not doing a curve line. I'm in this angle. Imagine I'm horizontal, but I'm just firing in this way. So usually it's firing this way. I'm firing it this way. Okay, boom, right there. So much tighter because you don't really see it. It's from here. You don't really see it. Yes. Yes. Good. Now try to do the vertical punch. Imagine you're firing from the center line, almost to the side. So imagine you're almost, almost like strict punch, but you're doing on the side. Yes. But straight all the way out. Yes, good. Very good, try again. Yeah, when you're doing a whole punch, let all the energy out. Yes. Good, try the other hand, the real whole punch. It's, it's also harder when you do it from a total stillness. So you can you can do you can do the rhythm, you, know, you can do oh, the kind of just the broken rhythm, boom, and just explode. So you can also practice that way. It trains your your the reflexes. So when it comes to the hook punch, see the alignment there. Make sure you turn your hip and you turn your foot. So you're almost on the ball or your foot. So your weight, it gets transferred right there. That's where it generates the power. Not from the hand itself, but from the foot. Right there, boom. The snap, see that? It comes from here. And that's how it gives us the snap of the punch. From here, see that? Or well, sometimes after a cross, see my weight is now at the front it's to generate power. If my weight is at the front, there's no power with my right hand. But if I transfer back from here, this has a lot of power, right from there. So from here, so it's all the weight transferred, right? From here to there, and then back from here as well. So make sure you turn like that. One of the best exercises you could do to practice your hook punch, but also your hip motion, it's simply with a heavy bag. And all you do is, you can, of course, you can do your combination, you can do all that stuff, but this is strictly to develop power and make sure you have the right hip movement. So you basically put your elbows next to here. Not like this, don't flare out like that, just like that. And you hit it. See how I have my elbow tucked in? So do it like that. And see how I'm turning my body? Like that, okay? It looks something like this. It looks something like that. So you put your hip into it, right there. And I'm not using my hand. I'm not pushing the back. I'm just learning to snap with. So you can hear the back should be lift up a bit. So I'm not pushing it. So that's a very, very good exercise. So try that. And then you can do it low. You can do it high. You can do it low and make sure, and you can, it gets harder when it gets closer. Okay, so practice well, practice often. If you like this video, comment below. Let me know when you practice a hook punch or the strict punch, any questions that you might have. Click on the subscribe button. If you want to watch my other Jikin Do videos, make sure, check out the videos on the left. Make sure on the left, click on the like button. I hope you enjoyed this video. Practice well, practice safely. Until next time, be water my friend. Be water my friend.